Hello, today's the day we get to find out who the lucky winner of the Christmas spider is, so let's go ahead and get on to it. So there it is. Congratulations to Aaron Smith. You're the lucky winner of the Christmas Spider. If you would shoot me a private message with your uh, mailing address, I will send your spider out to you promptly. My bird says congratulations too. Hello tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and you're watching Tarantula Haven. Congratulations to Aaron for winning the Christmas spider. I will get that in the mail as soon as you get me your mailing info. I hope you enjoy it. Before we get things going, I'd like to give a big shout out to a person named Sadistic Smile. And uh, she's actually a student at my school and she drew me this picture of, it looks like a goth girl. And uh, she wrote on the top there, Tarantula Haven. And she tells me all the time that she watches my videos. So thank you so much for that picture. I'll have Miss G laminate it and I will keep it forever. So rather than just cut this off at announcing the winner and leaving you at that, I figured I'd give you a little treat and have a feeding video that goes along with it. Last night was feeding day for me and I was feeding my tarantulas. So I kind of compiled all the best takedowns that I could from last night's feeding. Um, unfortunately, not all of them were eating. I, they, you know, that's the way it goes. Most of my adults were not exactly all that hungry and uh, it seems like most of my slings were the ones that were feeding last night. So this is mostly slings, but I hope you enjoy it. And I do have a little treat for you here toward the end, so stick around for that. To start things off, this is my Brachypelma albopelosum. And not the most exciting takedown, the roach just kind of walked underneath it. So it just grabbed it up. And that is pretty much it. Now this one is also a Brachypelma alba pelosum, and that's a much better takedown. You don't really think about it, but even the New World Terrestrials are actually pretty quick when they want to be. Next up is the Dolicothele diamantinensis, and this isn't really much of a takedown. It hopped down to see what was moving in its web and uh, it's still deciding whether to eat it or not but I really wanted to add this video in here because of the colors um, the colors are just remarkable on this species and this is one of the reasons why I wanted it and they are not disappointing they are beautiful and they get their colors really quick now here's another one and this is more typical of the takedown that you'll see from this species. At first it doesn't really try for it until the roach starts moving. If you blink you might have missed that one, that was so quick. I actually missed the takedown on this because I really wasn't expecting it to, to go for it, but I was happy to see this because um, I had four of these Caravana Versa colors and two of them passed away and just when I was doing this feeding I discovered that this one had also passed. And this is Seriocosmus bicolor and uh, formerly known as Seriocosmus chicoi but um, I'm really appreciating the Cosmos genus because they are some feisty little dwarf tarantulas and um, they, they really are good at taking down prey and fending for themselves for being such a small species or starting out so small. So I really like them a lot.
and this is Brachypelma epicureanum and uh, I don't, didn't see these guys very much but they're starting to show themselves a little bit more and they look very close to the Brachypelma vagans. And next up is the Brachypelma vagans and you can see that they're already starting to get or this one is getting its velvety black color and its red rump. Pretty nice takedown there. But I just love that black velvety color that they get. You'll see the next one is a little bit more further along as far as its colors are concerned. This is the other Brachypelma vagans. And you can see there that it's a little bit darker. It's got more of that black to it. And you can see that velvety abdomen with the red hairs on it. Beautiful species. This is my Ephibopus Waterman that I recently acquired. Having a little trouble focusing there. But um, yeah, it's doing great. It's gotten a little bit of size. It's molted once already. And as you can see, it doesn't hesitate to take down prey. They're pretty cool, even though I don't see it all that much. Now, this is a little bit older clip of my Salmopius Cambridgei. Uh, sling and I, I'm amazed at how fast these guys grow um, I only recently acquired it and it has already pretty much grown four times its size and uh, This next clip is one that I did take last night and you can see the roach there I'd already dropped it in and they are awesome eaters It will come down every single time to get its food and uh, it, I don't know what happened here, but it just kind of popped out over the food. It had already gotten it, but then it came up. But it gave me a good opportunity to get some video of it. Um, it's beautiful. It's looking gorgeous. Uh, I'm worried that it might be a female, and I was hoping for a male this time because I already have an adult female that I'd like to breed. But, oh well, another female won't be bad. And this is my Chromatopelma cyanopubescens. Um, she's really gotten her colors in and she's an awesome eater as well. And I noticed something on this video that I didn't notice before. If you look at the right petty palp, you see how it looks a little gimpy there and it's off colored. Uh, it had lost it and I, did, I didn't realize it. I never noticed it until this feeding video when I looked at it. So apparently it had a bad molt prior to this last molt that it had and uh, it just regrew re that petty palp. So that's why it's got a little gimpy petty palp there. So the next time it molts, it will be back to actual size and probably regain all of its color. No harm done. And this is my um, Pisilotheria Sefusca Highland. And they're looking really spindly, but I guess that's just the way they look. They don't hesitate to take down prey. They're doing much better since I put them in their new enclosure. But this one just was not interested. This one, on the other hand, was apparently very hungry. It came right out and grabbed onto the tongs and jumped right back in. And this is another Pisilotheria sefusca. And this one was also hungry and it just kind of gingerly took it and started gobbling it down.
and this is my Fisilatheria rufalata communal. Um, they're doing very well. You can see their nice fat abdomens there. Um, I have four remaining of the original five, and one of them died pretty pretty early on. Um, it looked like natural causes. It didn't look like there was any cannibalization because the body was still intact, sitting at the bottom of, on the substrate. But um, I am a little bit concerned about keeping the communal together. Um, I recently watched a video by Mark's Tarantulas, and he had a really bad experience with um, a communal that he did with some P. suffuscus and uh, they pretty much ate each other until there was one big fat female remaining and I would hate for that to happen to this. He said that he had the same experience with a communal of Rufalata and uh, about a year and a half is ha what the success rate seems to be for those. Um, so I'm, I'm really concerned. I don't know if I want to keep them as a communal because I would hate for them to eat each other off until there's one left. So I, I got a little while to think about it if it lasts about a year and a half or so. But I have seen um, some success with Pusillotheria regalis and um, with uh, Pusillotheria metallica. So maybe these just don't do as well. I'm not sure, but I will consider separating them later on. And this is Trinopelma sazimai. I have four of these and I've been seeing a lot of skittish behavior from them recently um, I, since I've put them in the new enclosure. So maybe it's the extra room that they have and they, they have places to hide now whereas before in the pixie boxes they only had the pixie box to be in and nowhere to really go. But definitely a wonderful species. I can't wait till they get their full blue in. And this is Brachypelma hamori, the staple of the tarantula world. Um, I just love this species. I love the coloration, that just that classic look that I remember from a child back in the 70s when I first had my very first experience with tarantulas. Here's another smaller Brachypelma hamori female and she was showing a little bit of a threat display there. She was being a little defensive until the roach started to break dance in her direction. This is Formictopus cancerides, the uh, Haitian brown. And as you can see, they're not exactly brown. This one's a little bit dark, still retaining some of that blue coloration that they start out with, but they are awesome, awesome eaters. They, they're very feisty. This is another one that is starting to get that brownish color. You can see some striation on the legs there. It's recently molted and uh, again very hungry and this is the largest one of my four formictopus cancerides um, and this one has also recently molted and I was very surprised to find the coloration of this one. Um, it's got that goldish carapace 
with kind of a pinkish fringe and almost purplish to the legs, a little bit of a purplish tinge to the legs. So they're truly some beautiful tarantulas. I don't know why they would call them the Haitian brown, but they are definitely not just brown. And uh, the roach burrowed under the substrate here, so I decided I was going to give it another roach instead of waiting for it to dig it up. Just, just beautiful colors. I love it. And speaking of colors, this is Orphanacus philippinus. And uh, they're supposed to turn orange. This one recently molted and turned purple. So I don't know if that's regular, that's standard coloration. I, I know sometimes tarantulas will go through different color changes before they reach their adult color. So I'm assuming that's what's going to happen here. But yeah, uh, kind of weird. It molted and turned purple on me. And this is Syriopagopus minax, the Thailand black. And uh, this is a very feisty species. They definitely hold their own from tiny slings. Um, this is not much bigger than from what I got it. And you can see right now from the takedown that they, are, they mean business. They are very, very hungry little guys. This is my other Syriopagopus minex, and again, got a little take down there. I don't think this one has molted yet because it's still more of a brownish color, but it attacked the prey. But it, after a little bit, it seems like it noticed the light on my uh, cell phone when I was recording this, and then it started coming after me. There you go, it just kind of turned and got a little bit defensive acting, and then it released its prey and started coming after me to where I had to stop recording to put the lid back on. There we go. It's like, what are you looking at? See, he's coming after me. Crazy little guy. And this is Harpactera pulchropes. I absolutely adore this tarantula. The colors are just stunning. I can't get over those powder blue legs and just that gold fur all over its carapace and its abdomen. Truly a beautiful species. And it was very shy when I first got it, hardly saw it, and uh, it burrowed, but um, it didn't really web up much, and a, a subscriber told me to put in some anchor points in there, so I did. And once I did, it ended up putting web all over the place. So as you can tell, it's webbed everything up. There's another view of it. It turned around when I added some water, so I figured I'd get a front view. And this big old fang sinking into that roach. Gorgeous. up is Pisilotheria metallica and uh, these are feisty little guys ever since I rehoused them they are attacking prey left and right and they are growing like weeds now um, notice the big abdomen on it and it's still taking prey most of my P metallicas are acting like this now
and here's another one and for them to be photosensitive they certainly don't mind me using the light on my on my cell phone to record them they they just don't care they they're after prey and that's it This is my newly acquired Pisilotheria regalis, female, and um, I am absolutely in love with her. She's beautiful and she acts as if she's been here all along and is very comfortable and doesn't mind attacking prey for me. attack was probably something that I maybe should have saved for my Fatal Fangs tournament. It was actually a pretty cool takedown. I don't know, it's a little bit out of focus, so maybe not. Hello, I'm speaking softly into this microphone because if I don't, I'm going to blast your eardrums out. I don't know if you watched it, but Tarantula Cat did an ASMR video on her tarantula feedings, only she used a little teeny tiny microphone. I told her that I was going to steal her idea, however, I'm going to improve upon that. I'm going to use this big old honking hairy microphone so I can get in real close and pick up as much sound as I possibly can so we could really hear what it sounds like when tarantulas eat. Hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What's that? Is that a roach? Oh, you know I- Oh, you know I love them roaches. Mm. This this ain't no regular roach. This is is this the cinnamon toast roach? Come back here. Oh, thank you. You know I love them roaches. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, that was amazing. Did you know that all that was going on on their level? It's amazing the stuff you find out when you get in close and you really stop to listen. All that ASMR stuff, <laughs> I just don't get it. I think it's silly, but some people are intrigued by it and it really does affect some people, so um, to each his own. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, I do have a Redbubble store where I sell Tarantula Haven merchandise. All the proceeds from the Redbubble store will go directly to help grow and support this channel. If you still want to get a Christmas spider, there's, there's still time. We have a few new designs up and some old ones that didn't sell yet, but um, they're still out there. You can check out the link at our Etsy store down below. Until next time, Keep loving them tarantulas.